The evolution of UAV technology has seen drones become a critical element in almost every aspect of emergency operations and law enforcement. Research conducted by DroneResponders.org found that over 5,000 public safety agencies now operate drone programs, with about two-thirds being law enforcement agencies. Law enforcement agencies around the globe are leveraging drone technology to increase operational effectiveness and situational awareness to help protect the lives of the public and the agencies that utilize them in a multitude of scenarios. To ensure new routes are effectively alleviating traffic, law enforcement agencies are using drones to evaluate new traffic patterns before making permanent changes to roadways and other transportation infrastructure. In the event of an accident, Drones have been used to safely document and create accurate 3D crash site reconstructions in a fraction of the time when compared to traditional methods so that roadways can be cleared quickly. The ability for drones to live feed, document, and create 3D models of a top-down perspective in forensic investigations is invaluable for capturing evidence that may have been missed from a ground search and to identify evidence left on rooftops or locations out of reach from traditional methods. Skybrows, a trusted partner of Dragonfly, is a leading solutions provider for forensic investigations and traffic incident reconstructions. Drones are able to search areas too difficult or treacherous to comb on foot. It takes a drone 30 minutes to search one square mile for a missing person. The same task takes a ground crew of 25 people about 35 hours to complete. In 2013, the RCMP deployed a Dragonfly drone to track down an injured missing person in frigid winter temperatures using onboard thermal technology. And that airframe sits in the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, credited as the first drone to save a human life. Since then, 59 incidences have been reported where a single civilian drone was used as the sole instrument to save a human life during a search and rescue operation. The tactical beyond visual line of sight waiver that has been approved by the FAA in the last couple of years allows for law enforcement agencies to fly UAVs around target locations during dangerous missions without the need for additional special permissions. With this real-time intel, SWAT teams do not have to advance blindly into dangerous locations containing armed assailants as an operation unfolds. In California, a drone utilized by the Alameda County Sheriff's Office documented firearms and drugs being discarded from a location and assisted in all suspects being apprehended. Drones are also being used in hostage situations to provide a visual feed through windows to gain intel on the location of suspects and hostages. This intelligence is crucial in police personnel determining the exact time and location to make entry, and there have been many documented cases where UAV technology has helped mitigate hostage situations without injury. LEOs are now flying drones into buildings to carry out dangerous room search operations remotely, thereby alleviating all potential harm to personnel. In interior hostage scenarios, these drones provide LEOs with the intel on the best time to enter, and in some cases, these drones are equipped with two-way communication to facilitate safe negotiations. There have been several documented cases in which suspects have surrendered without incident when confronted by a drone in an interior setting. Tethered drones are also deployed by public safety agencies as a battery-free intelligence solution, allowing for continuous overwatch with the tether acting as the power source. These drones are often deployed by fire departments as they offer a way to maintain the scene perimeter with the ability to have both RGB and thermal video streamed in real time. An increasing number of patrol vehicles, like the ones deployed by the Oklahoma City Police Department, carry drones in their trunks for quick deployment when incidents arrive to provide situational awareness on fleeing subjects and the existence of potential hazards like weapons. This system has also proven to be a welcome complement to enhance safety during canine operations. Drones equipped with live stream video surveillance capabilities and data communication technologies are increasingly being used for tactical, overt, and covert operations at special events for monitoring and for crowd control. 
agile meshes surveillance and communication equipment is being used by many law enforcement agencies, fire departments, VIP protection details, OEMCs, and military entities. And Dragonfly has partnered with Agile Mesh to provide the UAV platforms to bring improved situational awareness, surveillance, and decision-making to locations where these capabilities didn't previously exist. The FAA recently streamlined the approval process for obtaining waivers for drones as a first responder, or DFR, in beyond visual line of sight operations. The approval window has been reduced from over six months down to just a few days in some cases. California's Chula Vista PD was the first to launch a DFR pilot project with the FAA in which a drone was dispatched at the time of a 911 call to provide crucial real-time situational awareness intel via a video feed live stream to responding officers prior to them arriving on the scene. Currently, DFR programs are actively being deployed by 16 different departments and more than 100 agencies are interested in incorporating DFR programs into their operations. Most recently, Dragonfly drones have been providing situational awareness to first responders in Ukraine prior to their EMS delivery drones arriving to deliver temperature-controlled life-saving supplies and medications to the personnel and people who need it most, even in the most perilous and inaccessible areas. Dragonfly situational assessment drones are also used in Ukraine to set up base camps, map access routes, and detect nearby threats ahead of teams deploying landmine detection and mapping UAV systems. With the dangerous attacks on LEOs and staff shortages seeing an upward trend, drones are a critical asset in almost every aspect of public safety and an essential tool to watch over the fine men and women risking their lives to serve and protect.